cute bucket, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by painting it. Um, I'm gonna sand it really quick, and then I'm gonna paint it with the Waverly Chalk White. I do two coats, um, in between coats I do dry it with a hair dryer just to um, make the drying process quicker. So I'll do two light coats, I don't even do add it on very thick. And then um, we'll proceed to the next step. The, when I distress, these are the two colors that I use for the distressing predominantly, the barn wood color, and then just a little bit of an accent with that um, ice mocha, just to give it that really pretty um, distressed look on there too. So I'm gonna paint this up and then I'll show you uh, the next step. coat one and I used a hair dryer just to dry it quickly. And you can see it's not a thick coat. Um, and now I'm going to do the same thing and apply a second coat of that Waverly chalk paint. So there'll be two, coat two on. coats on it. And now I am going to start distressing it uh, with those other colors. And then I, like I said before, I did use a hair dryer just to dry it uh, to speed up the drying process. And just like that is really nice. Um, but the distressing and the little rope will make it even now cuter. I am going to take my sandpaper and I'm just gonna just lightly go over the letters here just to kind of pull that out. And then I just do a little bit and then I just brush it off just so I get that effect that I did with that one. Just kind of brings it out if you just slowly go over it and then brush it off. So I'm gonna do that and um, I'll show you how it looks. And see, that's how it looks when I've just gone like that a few times. And then I brush off the little dust and um, I think that looks really cute. So now we're gonna do some distressing and I like to use the uh, barn wood and a little bit of accent of the iced coffee. Uh, then I basically I just go in and I dab off the paint and then I just lightly go through, take a little bit more paint, dab it off and just lightly brush to kind of give it that really nice accent look. So I'm gonna go through and do that and show you how it looks. So I've gone in with my dry brush and again, I mostly used this color, but just they're so similar as you see. That's why it's like almost just like a highlight. So just in some spots, you just see that little bit of that darker, um, but you just kind of just do in a same way, just go back and forth. Um, just a nice little brush stroke and it just gives it that little bit of that aged look um, and I just like how it pulls out with the um, with the lettering here um, instead of just being a lot of black which sometimes you see a lot of black and gray use I just like the way that looks and what's nice if you um, screw up you can just take a little bit of white paint or you always have the other side to use too. If you're um, pleased with your results you can you're, you're done um, but you can also go over with some of it too with some white again. So that's great if you, you maybe have a spot that you don't like. Um, or I sometimes like to go over a little bit of it, some of the spots with white. Just because I did on this side, after I did the little bit of that uh, dry brush with the uh, gray and browns, I ended up going over with the white so you can kind of see how really nice look that gives it. Um, really really pretty it just really brings it out too with going over with a little bit of white again so you could use virtually two different sides too so that doesn't have the white over it and that side does and they're both really pretty either way now let's just a little more i'm going to make some little knots uh chunky knots and hot glue them to the side i have some rope that's also from dollar tree you can just find it in their floral section wind it around your fingers a few times and make yourself a little knot and just cut it and then just hot glue them to the ends to just add a nice little added touch to your bucket. Now how it looks to make the knot. Here's the bucket. Once I hot glued the little knots to the side, super easy. This project takes under 30 minutes to make from start to finish. Uh, just make sure you let your paint dry in between the two coats. Um, using a hair dryer will speed up that process. Um, but this is such a cute little project. I think this is adorable too, even for herbs in the summertime to get some fresh herbs, even to gift to somebody. I also love these really pretty um, blushy, peachy flowers for from Dollar Tree as well. And I just put them in mason jars that I have. And this is two and a half bunches of those flowers. And it's such another pretty way to decorate. Um, so this whole project, you're looking at a dollar, 
for the pot and then got three dollars for the flowers and then the, the dollar for the rope but the rope you'll use for several projects because you only need a little bit so it's such a cute project to decorate for spring or even year-round and just change out your flowers seasonally Thank you.